Hello YouTube, this is EN559Fresno and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to fix error 3194. This occurs on uh, iPhone 3G and 3GS and uh, what I've noticed is it seems like it's the exact same error as error 1013 on the iPhone 4, not 1015, 1013 on the iPhone 4. What you're going to need to do is uh, you need to follow two steps. One is changing the host file and the other is disabling antivirus, just temporary. Uh, it's like, uh, you just have to let your iPhone restore, then you can enable your antivirus back, and it should be all good. Uh, so I'm going to show you what to do, uh, like how to change the host file. Just uh, open up my computer, you know, the little my computer icon, looks like that. Well, uh, it depend depending on what system you have, but, uh, once you do that, go to the local disk, hard disk drive, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, Most of the time it's C, and then go to Windows. Not Windows old if you have that, just Windows. And then go to System32, which is right here. See System32? And if you get lost, just look up here, and those are where to go. Okay, so the next step is to go to Drivers and then go to etc which is uh, right here etc and then go to host now you see two of them uh, look where it says type one says uh, file and the other says icalendar file just go to the file one leave the icalendar file one alone and uh, left click on it twice uh, actually let me show you something else uh, first you need to do this uh, right click on the host then go down and click uh, properties then you're going to go to security, you're going to click edit, and you're going to make sure system, everything is checked, administrators, everything is checked on allow, and everything is checked on allow for users. Make sure everything is like that, and then just click apply and OK, and then click OK, and then go back to the host, and then uh, left click on it twice, and you'll see this probably. Uh, go to Notepad and left click on it twice, and then you're, you're going to see these two things. Well, basically, you just need to pay attention to this right here gs.apple.com. What you can do is you can either erase these or you can leave them, but just make sure it's these two only. I'd recommend you erase them, so let's just do that. And now we're going to save Control S or go to uh, File and save. And see, it will be saved. Now just go back and we're going to make sure it's saved. Yep, it's, sa uh, <clears throat> it's saved. Alright, next step to uh, what you have to do is make sure your antivirus is just temporarily disabled. That's because uh, what I noticed was uh, some antiviruses, they were blocking uh, computer like signal to Apple servers. That's why you got error 1013 or 3194. And uh, so that, you can probably figure that out, but I guess I can give you guys a little, uh, a little heads up. But it's going to vary a little bit depending on what antivirus you have. So what you're going to need to do is uh, hold Control alt delete on your keyboard. Just press them all at the same time. Control alt delete Press it a couple times. Or maybe once. It just depends until you see this. Start Task Manager. Click on that. And you're going to see this right here. And you're going to see you might be on the Applications. Uh, no, go to Processes. And then you might see something right here like show processes for all users. Click on that and click yes and this will open up. And here, I guess uh, I can show you. Here's the tricky part, kind of. You need to find out what your antivirus name is. So I guess you can go to description and then click on that tab and it will be in alphabetical order. And see, mine's is uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, so it's this anti-malware service executable, or msmpeng.exe, Norton, just, you know, search around for Norton. I did notice that Adaware was causing 
error 3194 on my iPhone 3G. So when I disabled that, it didn't work. So I'll uh, just go right here to it. And uh, here's this is what I'd highly recommend. Plug in your iPhone right now to your computer, open up iTunes, and get it ready to, you know, begin restoring, you know, that recovery mode process. And um, right when it's like at that page, go over here and hit end process. And just do that. Now see, this might come up at risk. Uh, just hit exit, and I think it's going to try to come up back by itself automatically. Right over here, you'll probably see it. Alright, I guess it didn't. If it does, just keep hitting it. See, it's trying to come back up uh, right here. You're going to do it one more time. And just hit, now go back to the iTunes, hit the restore button right now. And just uh, keep looking out for this Microsoft security or whatever you're using, Norton. And keep hitting end process. And it should be fixed. And then once like the restore is done, I'd highly recommend you start your antivirus back. Alright, so I hope you like this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, just let me know via private message. And uh, please click the like button uh, if you want. If you didn't like it, then that's fine. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.